We are on the Bali Cat Space Catamaran. Bali Cat Space. As soon as this catamaran appeared at the Dusseldorf exhibition in the 19th year, we immediately decided to test it. But then, some circumstances, pandemic and others, made some adjustments to our plans. And only now we finally got to it. He waited a year and a half for our reservation, and here we are. Of course we could take you a glossy beautiful view in the marina with a watered-down clean catamaran. But this would not be entirely fair and correct. So this will be the most crystal clear, honest review, after we have been on it for a week and know all its pros and cons. Lots of both. Let's go one by one. As on many Bali catamarans, there is such a nice feature here. The absence of a cockpit that is fully fledged in the general sense, but a certain common saloon combined with the cockpit. Thanks to such a door, which with a slight movement of the hand, slight movement of the hand. But it's better to do it together with someone. Opens up such an awesome space. Thus, if you sit in the warm season, you turn this into an open veranda. And it's stormy, you need to retire and hide from the weather. You close this door with the same slight movement of your hand, windows, and you get a full-fledged, huge, closed, isolated salon. Bali Cat Space is a revision of Bali 4.1. Inside, it turned out to be quite spacious, comfortable, and pleasant-looking interior. Full-sized refrigerator covered with veneer. This is great. It's cool really cool and comfortable. A separate refrigerator like at home, a freezer. No need to shove anything into these vertical boxes. Great. Window. Unlike previous versions and unlike 4.1, it is not on a slider. But flip up. All control is placed on the navigation table. Chart plotter, autopilot, radio, in principle, you can control it from here without problems and not wet your face and not be blown by wild winds and not shake on the waves. Let's go down the stairs. And here is another novelty. And it was this innovation that interested us so much. Ever had a situation where you need to cast lots who will get the bow or stern cabins? Because usually the bow cabin is wretched and much smaller in size than the aft one. So here it is just the opposite. Bow cabins here are made in such a way that the bed is turned 90 degrees. It turns out very spacious. A lot of storage space and an extra shtick, this side bunk. When assembled, this is an additional shelf for a mess. But if you travel like we do with children, you get an extra seat like in a sleeping car of a train. With a height of 193 centimeters, not the best option for an overnight stay, but in principle, quite so-so. Each cabin has air conditioning, very convenient, and even in cold weather, you will always be dry, warm and comfortable. Well, in the summer, of course, you will use them to the maximum and enjoy the coolness. Shower, toilet, bathroom, latrine, oh my experience, skippers. And here, just the same, nothing supernatural. There is nothing outstanding in the bathrooms, a standard latrine, sink, faucet, as known as shower. For such a pretty cat hammering in the interior, a latrine, it seems to me that they look somehow miserable. Designers work on it. 
Here in each cabin, there is an individual latrine, but they are so tiny and cramped that it seems to me that for a charter boat, it would probably be better to make one joint large shower and individual latrines. Space allows you to do this, but they decided to wash over the toilet like this as a standard. There is plenty of storage space. There is a locker with hangers. A lot of space under this bunk. This is the first time when I can calmly say, you can take your suitcases on yachting. Because there is where to put it. There is also a locker under this mattress, in which bed Lyman is now. The aft cabin is more than comfortable. A lot of space. Shelves for storage, drawers, the same closet with hangers. I like. Huge table with storage space. A sofa that fits, theoretically, 10 people, but it would be much more comfortable if there were additional ottomans. There are not. So the table is used only on two sides. Like this. As in all ballas, we are deprived of the front grid. But we get here a bunch of open spaces with sunbeds and tables. But more about them later. Cat space boasts a place to relax. Because each of the zones can easily accommodate the entire team. Ten people will fit either in the forward cockpit, or on the sun loungers, or on the flybridge, or in the saloon. Flybridge is good. So what do we have? Raymarine, chart plotter, autopilot, one electric winch, automatic furling jib, standard mainsail, second winch is manual. In principle, everything is done in order to be able to cope alone. The guys understand for whom and why they make their catamarans, convenient cup holders for the skipper. But here there are absolutely no drawers, pockets, or at least some kind of sides for storage. There is nowhere to put your phone, tablet, and so on. There is full visibility on the starboard side, but the port side is not visible at all. Therefore, you either need to get used to the dimensions for a long time, or someone must be put there. Because this is a completely blind zone and there is no way to see anything except to run back and forth. On cat space, there is a steering wheel with a hydraulic booster. Of course, this is convenient in terms of the fact that you do not need to lock the steering wheel to keep it under some kind of maneuvers. It will never cut off the limbs of anyone stuck there. The anchor winch is moved as far forward as possible. It is convenient for watching the anchor. Well, I like the thing for lifting the dinghy. Such a steel mechanism, the winch leans back, the dinghy lies on the water, unfastens, very comfortably. It's not very good, of course, that it closes the rear view, but it's convenient. It's really convenient to work. Ladder. They made a long ladder. Now you do not have to jump out of the water to reach the first step. It really goes underwater, you can use it. This is not a props. In all previous Bali catamarans, the ladder was very short. It was very inconvenient to go down and up in the water. You've never seen anything like it, my little Bali lovers. He actually sank a meter and a half under the water. Now it is. Got it? Got it. What else makes us happy? Of course, everyone will be pleased with the grill on the catamaran. At any time of the day or night, in any weather, you can cook fish on the go. If I were filming this review at the Dusseldorf show, I would say that this is the perfect catamaran for charter. Full, comfortable, equal cabins for everyone. Comfortable mice design, wood tone, full-size refrigerator. Wonderful grill. With a price in the basic configuration of around 300,000 euros, and that even started from 290. It seemed to me just an ideal solution, and even an opportunity to think about buying. 
But let's go over what I didn't like about this cut space. First of all, it is the build quality and finish. The Katana shipyard has transferred part of its production, maybe completely, I don't know for sure, but Catspace itself is produced in Tunisia. This reduced their cost at the expense of labor. But they made cheaper not only at the expense of labor. The quality of the finishes, the quality of the materials, and the overall quality of of course, also got worse. Here we have two Yanmar engines as much as 28 horsepower. But look at the quality of the Tunisian assembly. We are the first on this catamaran. It has never been chartered before us. There are some wonderful tables in the front cockpit. Let me remind you, we are the first on this catamaran. No one has chartered it before us. And this is the quality of the tables that came from the shipyard. Yes, nothing is regulated there, they are originally like this. This table pipe that rubs against the bottom, and in a year, will simply drill a hole there. I do not understand why they should be made, and even more so, it's horrible. Speaking of build quality, Virgin Catamaran, Virgin. Look at this quality, the quality of the finish of a completely new catamaran, almost from the shipyard. It would seem like a trifle, but guys, I understand that you can just take a leave air refrigerator, paste over it with the same veneer as all the furniture, and it will blend perfectly with the interior. With this shutter, it immediately leaves these scratches. It's just hell for a perfectionist. Well, why can't it be thought out somehow so that this doesn't happen? Hey, designers, follow me. The worst thing is these doors. On 4.1, they were sliding, as far as I remember. Here they went back to these doors and made them one side. Do you know what that means? And this means that they block each other. And you either lock yourself in the toilet or in the cabin. If someone foolishly did not close the door to the latrine tightly, and it opened. The following happens. That's all? You can't get in, in the cabin anymore. It remains only through the hatch. Well, not the most comfortable solution. And in the aft cabin, the opposite effect. You cannot open the toilet if this door is open. The handle does not open, because it beats against this handle if the door is open. And you can't do anything about it. But here there is already no hatch, and you will not get out if this happens. Have you seen this movie yet? Our wonderful grill. A fairy tale. The dream of any yachtsman or charter sailor. Gorgeous lid. But all this fat, oil, pieces of fish, exploding squids fly on this glass. Or if it is open, into the salon, onto leather seats, onto people. What prevented them from unfolding the lid and closing the window with it? Well, it's convenient, but by the way, on the go, you won't be able to use it much because the wind blows gas, but we got used to it. We laid a towel, then everything was fine. In general, in terms of appearance and comfort, I liked everything. It's really comfortable. It's really spacious. It's nice to the touch. In my opinion, it's only a charter model. Good, overall good. You can take. 